So, you've worked in American TV, American film. You've worked in European film. You've seen the Derek Goldbys, you've seen the Bernie Hopkins, the English that came in, and you're a Canadian that came up through the center with all these influences. Is there a Canadian acting style against a British style, against an American style, against a Euro style? Is there? Or what is being concocted? Well, I mean, I think that it, there's something that is, is, is of, you know, it's hard to pinpoint anything specific as a characteristic that doesn't end up sounding like a nationalist cliche. But we are pretty agreeable. We meld and blend pretty well. We, you know, never mind the outs and about, we can blend in with American shows and American movies. We can blend in with the Europeans very well. We can be articulate and clear. We can be almost English and not half so annoying. Uh, you know, so we can do very well over there as well. I think we're not quite the zealig of international actors in that we adapt and fit to everything, but we're stealing very carefully elements from all of those traditions. And they all have something to offer. The English are remarkable, and there's remarkable actors, but it's pretty harsh. It's a harsh game being an actor you know, with English actors and being surrounded by them because they're so hard on each other. There are so many of them, and the industry is so competitive. There's, there are far fewer of us here, so we tend to be more generous. And I think we're more generous with each other more generous with sharing on sets and on backstage. I certainly am, I'm unstoppable. And as you can tell, I, 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 I like a good discussion and I wanna share and learn from the people who've got ideas and experience and steal from the best. So it's not a Canadian thing per se, but we are, I suspect, identifiable by that, the sum total of our adaptability. Does that make sense? It does, it makes great sense. And what I'm kind of poking at is that the artistic expression of a Brazil or a Germany or a United States or Sweden or Britain reflects in a way the bottom layers in that country that are at work. I mm -hmm. mean, why we have American ep episodics like this, why HBO suddenly rise like that, why yeah. you get BBC out here, why you have that French stuff. So I, I say, okay, I can see that in those mirrors of those other countries. But then you look back at the Canadian and say, well, what, this is not from an exclusive nationalistic, we're better, no, it's not from that point of view, but saying what is happening in this country and that what we are trying to build mm. blindly, consciously or self unconsciously, is it actually pulling up into a style? I don't want to say like the Group of Seven style and mm. I don't want to say like Russell Peters, but is something being expressed here creatively? Gosh, I don't know. I mean, I think it, it, it's, it's very difficult for me to say because I've never been in a Canadian show per se that has been, you know, all Canadian creative content and all trying to tell our stories to ourselves. I mean, I've done Canadian shows, you know, the Trudeau and Agul, you know, they are Canadian stories, but they're not long enough in terms of the application of our skills to see and those are the old Canadian things, Canadian white and they spoke English or French or whatever. Yeah. But the Deepa Mehta is doing the kind of water films. It's, yeah. you know, it's this kind of, the, it's Mina this Shums different animal Charles, that's appearing. Yeah. And is there a Canadian style? Well, well not a style, it, I don't mean a style, no, but, but it's I would have, reflected something about what... what I would it. say, again, it's part of that non-assimilated, multicultural acceptability and tolerance, that we allow for all of those things, that we accommodate all of those things, and that we can, and they all fit under the banner headline of Canadian. I don't think there is a, a specific style yet. I don't know that it would be helpful if there was one. Yeah. Um, and, and again, that's my prejudice, because my problem is I, I come at my career from the point of view of service, of adaptability. What do you need, producer, director, writer? What is the author's intention? How can I be of service to you in order to continue doing work as a professional actor? Which may or may not have limited my career and my potential. I, I have friends who are much braver actors than I am, who have 
almost always succeeded in putting their mark on a, a performance. And yet, I don't know if that has correspondingly limited them because they are so identifiable with certain kind of tr you know, tricks of their particular trade. I, I'm often encouraged by the number of people who recognize me and don't know why. Because it, 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 it tells me that the job is, is still going well. Who say, well, you were an amazing Lear. They go, no, they said, we you? met at Sarah McGregor's wedding, didn't we? This happened to be last weekend. I'm on the beach with my daughter. She's playing. And a couple said, we met at the McGregor wedding, didn't we? Said, I, I don't think so. Oh, yes, I'm sure we did. And he turns to his wife. And his wife is equally convinced that we met at the wedding. I said, well, where was the wedding? Newmarket. I said, oh, was it good? Oh, it was terrific. Yes. As you remember, I said, well, I don't, but I, now you're making me jealous for not having been invited. Now, I knew perfectly well that they'd seen House of Cards or Spider-Man or, you know, whatever else had, had been on recently and just couldn't make the connection. But I'm delighted when that happens. 